I wouldn't call in the midnight hour I wouldn't tuck you in and turn the night light out You would walk through the door and I wouldn't say hi What's up, Army Nation? This is your girl, Princess. Welcome to the channel. Um, so today, you guys, I'm gonna do... This is gonna be like a video basically about April Jones, Fizz, aka Omari, Omarion, baby mother, and bandmate, Lil Fizz. Because Omarion and Lil Fizz is, Fizz is in B2K together. They were just on the Millennium Tour. And they got invited by Drake to be, you know, perform at the Oval Fest. So, yeah. So now, with the new season of Love and Hip Hop Season 6, April and Lil Fizz is there. Which, you know, on the intro to the video, they're kissing and hugging and all this stuff. And then, you know, as they go on in the episodes on Love and Hip Hop, they're saying they're just friends. And April was saying in her interview... Low Fizz, you know, Fizz been a great friend, you know, and if anyone is deserving of the cat, he's deserving of the cat, um, the kitty cat, so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little confused on Fizz and April relations, but one minute they're saying friends, they're friends, then one minute she's, you know, in the in the room that when they show the clip and they're talking or whatever and she's saying bae, so I'm like, I'm a little confused, but Let's take it back to um the last episode that just that just passed, right? I believe it's let me see, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season six episode damn what episode it is. Well the episode that just passed on Monday. Um I can't remember the exact number. I think it's episode six. But anyway, she's talking to um Paris and she's telling her, like, you know, Omarion just up and left and fizz and um and Paris is like asking her, well, why did Lily? Why did he leave? And then she was like, I wish I could tell you a reason why. All I know is he just I got up one day. He was acting different. He just up and left. I was this skinny. She did this. She said I was this skinny. Um, I was losing weight. I wouldn't eat, and you know, and all of that. And Fizz was there to pick up the pieces, and you know, to help her out to say, you know what? I'll take the kids while you get some, you know, while you go take get some time by for yourself and stuff like that. But my thing is, I guess Omarion just just one day just up and left her. But I'm, I wish that she could just tell tell the reason why Omarion left. There's nobody that's just going to pack up one day and left you right after you had your baby and you already had his other child. There's no, like, they are, she already putting it out on the show. April already putting it out in Love and Hip Hop trying to make it seem like Omarion is this terrible person. He just up and left her. What we need is, I need a reason. There is a reason. What's the reason? People not just gonna up and just leave you and not give you a reason why. Just you just came home one day and they just packed up all their stuff and just left. No, like what were y'all arguing about? What led up to him leaving? Yeah, I've been a fan of Omarion. I've been in love with Omarion since the B2K days, since I was like 10 years old or 11. But I'm not gonna side with him because of that. I want to know since they're gonna go as far as talking about it on love and hip-hop talking about you know making it seem like he's this terrible person she just had his baby and he just up and left her you know i want to know more in this story they need to say like what exactly was going on from me i'm thinking that what if he left her like what if you know allegedly what if he left her because he thought you know her and fizz were sleeping together or having you know sleeping together not that having an affair because they're not married sleeping together that could be the reason why he left her he probably thought they were sleeping together because look how close they are right now and you know what pissed me off about Lil Fizz Monique Monique she be going through a lot a lot of stress and stuff like she said she be going through a lot sometimes like she she just been going through a lot she just like if you follow her on Instagram like she tells she be going through like so much crap and she says sometime when she asked him to come get Cam her and Monice and Lofi's son so you know she can rest or whatever whatever 
you know or just get some time to herself because she be going through so much and then he don't go he, he he don't get her like he don't care he basically tell her don't call me figure figure stuff out on your own but i'm not understanding how he can treat treat his own baby mother like that how can you look at your son and say you love your son and you treat the mother of your son like shit and he came from her so that's why I don't understand. How can he treat her so bad and that's the mother of his child? Whether y'all together or not, you're still supposed to treat each other with respect. And, you know, sometimes us mothers, you know, you be going through a lot trying to work. And then she be going through a lot of stuff emotionally and physically and stuff. And sometimes she need a little break, you know, because, you know, they have shared custody. Whereas, you know, what sometimes when it's her days with cam she be going through a lot and she just need him to come take him and he won't go but he could go on over to april house and get omarion kids and while april gets some time to rest why why does he why little fist hate moni so much that he treat her like shit but treat omarion baby mother like a queen i'm not i'm not understanding that He's not going to get no blessings for that. He's going to go straight to hell. How can you look in your son's face, look in his eyes and say you love your son, but you treat your son mother like crap? I just don't understand it. They really need to sit down together. Omarion, April, Lofez, Moniz, they all need to sit down together and cut all this BS out and work together like you know like civilized adult because this is not happening she's on love and hip-hop her little face bashing on marion and all this stuff they call him Moniz crazy and all this stuff but the girl suffer from a lot of stuff and she's going through a lot you know like it's crazy they 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 need to But yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, they all need to sit down together and cut all this BS out. Um, I understand that, okay, if April's telling the truth and Omarion up and left her, I understand why she would want to pay him back by, you know, mess, you know, trying to date Lil Fizz because Lil Fizz and Omarion was in a band together. And, you know, Lil Fizz still have a lot of, un, a lot of hurt feelings towards Omarion because Omarion was the breakout artist of you know b2k and they all were struggling trying to make it but amarian made it record deal making a lot of money so i know i know little fizz is you know but hurt about that but i mean get over it he was the one successful because he was the lead singer you know so get over it like i feel like it's messy april dating her her um baby daddy band member i think that's a little messy but if omara did just up and leave her one day she have a right to do whatever she want to do but yeah i hate that she's talking about oh little fizz is just my friend just my friend come on now y'all friends with benefits like come on y'all we know damn well y'all sleeping together we all grown just be real about your stuff you know they all need to just sit down together at a table and figure this stuff out because this is just too messy, honey. Well, thank y'all for listening. Comment below. If you know about this situation, what are your thoughts on it? Comment below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay blessed, divas. Bye.